So here we are going to see that how does uh, the distribution of sample mean means look like from you know samples drawn from a uniform distribution. Let's keep our sample size as four, and this is a uniform distribution, which is by no means uh, you know look is looking like this. But let's see what the distribution of means of samples of size say four look like. All right. So here we are using Excel, even though not a statistical package, you know, the way we are using it. And at the same time, not the best tool, uh, you know, that we will go through, but it's easily available to us. So click on data and then you shall see a feature called data analysis. Uh, if you don't have it in your Excel or Excel that you have on your computer, you may go to files and then just go on the bottom to options. And once you go to the options, uh, then uh, go to go to add-ins and then look for Excel add-ins and these are analysis tool pack. And I just clicked on analysis tool, tool pack VBA. So just say okay and they will be added into yours. So going back to data and here we have data analysis and uh, what do we want to do is we want to have a random number generation and uh, we are just going to take four variables in the sense that it will give us rows of four numbers and what we want to do is let's take it from uniform from 0 to 10 and I'm designating the output range as A1 otherwise it will just create a new sheet for us which may not be anything too bad and let me increase the font size here okay and even though we don't need to see each number so we are going like home and then let's just make it like 20 and then make it bold as well okay and right here let's just store our sample means and let's make uh, you know those big as well okay big bold all right so here are our sample means so a way to get that is just go to paste function all right and uh, i already have chosen average and i've shown you how to get to those before so what it will do is it'll give us average of these four rows and uh, we have it as like about 4.56 now we will double click on this so that it will give us all the thousand averages and as before um, we can do this here i'm just going to show you a very crude histogram that it just uh, shows by uh, default so our data is in where from e to e thousand and it just you know took us away so here i did this that the our data is from E1 to E1000 and then we have to click on the chart output and it should give us a histogram very quickly. So here we got a histogram. It is all, this was a symmetric distribution. So it is already, you know, pretty like, uh, you know, bell-shaped distribution. Now let's take, uh, say, samples of size uh, this time. Let's change it to 60 I mean doesn't cost us anything all right so we want uh, 60 random numbers and we want how many thousand of them let's keep uniform again from 0 to 10 all right and for the output let's start the output from the cell 1 as before okay so here we go all right and you can see these are we have 60, we have samples of size 60 in each row. And what we would do is that, let's go to the row number 61. I'll increase the font size here as well. All right, and then the 61, what we will do is that, let's just put the means of each of the rows here. So that's what we got here. And I'm just uh, taking all the, uh, you know all the means of the thousand samples okay and if you are still here i will show you the histogram uh, of the uh, or rather a histogram so here what we are doing is this we are starting here 
bi1 through uh, we will go bi1 through bi1000 okay just manually and put it that with us the easiest way that I know okay bin range you can set later okay all right so here we have data you know looking more towards normal or uh, you know you can just go ahead and approximate a density curve all right okay so or you can just go and play with different populations on your own all right 